Here's a program that using a video camera and a coat hanger with yellow paper taped to the end of it allows me to make a drawing. Let's look at how this works. We're using OpenCV and NumPy. We have a movie of that drawing process captured by the video camera. And we read the first frame. That gives us a NumPy array and a return code. And we pull out the height and width so we have the shape of the video. Then we create a video writer to produce the output video. And then time image is an image that we use to accumulate the successive frames that make up the output. Think of it as a time, a time lapse photograph. Then we have our main loop while we have data to process. We convert the image from blue, green, red to hue, saturation, value. And then we make a mask of just the color we want, which is for this particular video is kind of a yellow. So the hue going from 5 to 30 seems to do the job pretty well there. And then we use that mask. So the mask produces just a image of black and white pixels. And then we use that mask here with bitwise and to make a new image from the HSV image. So this mask is color, but it only has the color parts. You saw this in the, in the video. Then, uh, first time through, we save um, the current masked image into this time image, which is our cumulative image. Then we show four of these images, wait for a key to be pressed, and then we continue. Now, here we have the simple blob detector, which we're not really using in this program. The thought was we'd use it to help identify the blobs. And then we would need the coordinates of each blob, the paintbrush, if you like, um, in order to do something. But as it turns out, I'm just merging all the images together, so I don't need this. But in the future, it might be interesting to kind of um, mathematically pull out vectors representing the velocity of the paintbrush changing over time, something like that. So I left it in here, but it's not used right now. And then here using bitwise or we kind of combine the, the new masked image with the, the uh, cumulative time image. Then we write out that time image as a frame in the video file. And then we read the next frame. Then the loop is done and then we release the video stuff. That's it.